Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to American Falls by Lancy Boy. Happy Friday, indeed. So close to the weekend. Looking forward to the weekend. Oh my goodness, are we looking forward to the weekend? Oh, listen to that beautiful, beautiful chime sound. I've been given permission to use the round bale extension mod. I missed you, Round Baler Extension. I really did. Such a beautiful thing. So we are picking up pretty much where we left off last time. Of course, one field richer than we were before, which is very nice. We've got some uh, tasty sorghum. Waiting for us to harvest. We are going to get uh, that fertilized as promised. But right now I'm going to work a little bit on getting our bales taken care of the sooner we get them baled and wrapped i guess the sooner our our silage is is brewed up speaking of brewing i've got a great episode brewed up for you today <laughs> yeah just edit I'm, i'll edit that out you won't have to listen to that that's pretty silly actually i wanted to uh, we'll see how this goes. So, hey, I hope, like I said, hope you're all doing well. Looking forward to the weekend, no doubt. I know Chad is. Chad, um, Chad has an exciting weekend planned. Um, I, tonight I told him it was okay if he went ahead and did our laundry this weekend. He's pretty geeked about that. Uh, I think what really set him off and put him over the top was when I told him if he does a good job with our laundry, um, I'm going to let him do our clean our bathroom. And uh, you want to talk about somebody who is just over the moon with anticipation and joy. That would be our intern, Chad. Yeah, he's, he's watching Baby Einstein right now. Loves Baby Einstein. Uh, before I forget, I want to say hello to Pieter. Thank you for your subscription. It's awesome. Thanks for... Uh, Thanks for uh, for doing that. My appreciation, of course, um, my shock and uh, joy in the fact that uh, there's somebody out there who enjoys this content and wants to subscribe. As always, it is um, humbling indeed. And I mean that sincerely. I do. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. So our plans here in July are going to be, of course, our grass work. We're going to um, pick up some contracts. I've got a contract on deck already. Reasonably paying contract. I think it's around $20,000, I believe. Another foraging contract. Again, I don't get it why farmers around here just... It's almost like they look forward to growing beautiful crops and then just foraging them. Maybe I'm missing something, but hey, if they want to pay to have it done, I'm your man, you know. Just give me the equipment and we'll forage. We'll forage everything. We're forage crazy people. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. Still working on my uh my coffee rabbit hole i am in it deep now i don't know if any of you have gotten into that it's it's just it's fascinating to me the science and the chemistry of it um today i placed an order for a for an n for n for an aeropress i'm curious if any of you have any experience with an aeropress i've i've only heard really good things about them uh, for the most part so we'll see of course, if I can find a way to make something perfectly fine go wrong, I'm sure I can do that. So I'm kind of looking forward to trying that out. Um, yeah, that catches you up. <laughs> catches you up on my <laughs> uh, my coffee. Uh, my coffee deal. Coffee simulator. Ooh, I bet that's out there somewhere. Coffee simulator. It'd be a weird simulator, though. I always find, like, the food ones 
the food simulators to be a little weird only because um, I just thought of something actually let me finish my thought and then we'll go to what I just thought of because whenever I play food simulators I get hungry they're not good for me they're not good for me to do so my second thought that I basically kind of that whole squirrel thing is if we as you know with this round bale extension once it gets to a certain percentage it just slows your tractor down and it keeps it at that slow pace until it gets to 100 percent but what i'm curious about is what will if we engage overdrive which is the um real working speed mod which of course as you can see considerably faster Oh yeah, okay. So they probably aren't gonna play super friendly together. Let's let's drive down to the um, to the end down here, and let's uh, let's let's start a good run down here with this with this windrow, and let's just see exactly what this is gonna be like. So if we put the hammer down. I'll go outside. So we're flying along. <laughs> and of course it sees that percentage. Oh, that's actually... Okay, so it does miss. Yeah, it kind of overshoots. Of course, that's my bad driving back there. But it does... It does uh, overshoot the, uh, the wind row a bit. So that's good to know. I guess we don't have to put the hammer down. We can go a little faster than normal. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we set it to about? I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't even remember what this thing's normal working speed is. We'll set it to about thirteen. About thirteen mile an hour. Let's see what she does here. That's not super fast. I think it'll handle this. It ignores... I, that's fascinating, though. It, I actually kind of like that because it, it, it ignores... Did you see how it did that? How it, like, basically ran full bore till it got to 100% and stopped immediately? I like that. I do. Now, if I turn off the variable or the real working speed mod... And we do it the normal way, which hopefully I've got enough grass left here to demonstrate. So the working speed is usually 10. I'm hoping we get enough to, oh, I don't know, maybe we won't get enough to do another. I think we can get enough if I uh, if I pick up some scraps here. I think we'll we'll be okay. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking I like this uh, real working speed mod. Let me enable it again. You can go much faster. Even when it's getting close to a hundred, I can definitely work with this. I like this quite a bit. Mr. Bale, you need to scooch out of our way. Just scooch a bit. Where are we at? We're at 98%. We are going to get to a hundred percent. We should be able to because last time we were able to hit that hundred percent mark. There's a tree there, Brad. That tree's annoying. We might we might cut that tree down. I'll have to ask the missus first. See if she likes the tree. 90. Oh, yeah, we're there. We're there. We're so there. Easy peasy. Beauty. Beauty. Let's pick up this little bit left here. For next time, 
just like so. I'm not too worried about these little, little tiny scraps. They don't add up normally to a great deal, as we have found out several times on the channel. But this working speed mod allows me to really zoom around here and clean up our field kind of nicely. Kind of nicely. Eh? Thought I'd throw that in there for 10 man. Clean up the field nicely, eh? 10 man, I tell you, I'm not going to make fun of the way Canadians talk. I I lived in Minnesota for, in fact, Minnesota is kind of my, Minnesota is my home. It's still my home. And uh, we talk funny in Minnesota. We do. And what is going on? I, I took a little bit of a, of a jump here last time. Is it just a, I guess it's just a little bit of a knoll thing going on here or something. Yeah, she's, she's pretty decent. You can get a, you can catch some air hitting this guy here. This tree here is bugging me. That tree, not so much. That tree, it, it, it might end up bugging me. But this tree right here is bugging me. It's bugged me once. It's bugged me twice. Bugged me deadly. Do any of you know that? Oh, we don't own a chainsaw. That's a bit of a problem. How much are chainsaws? Can we get a deal on a chainsaw? Why aren't chainsaws? That's the other thing. If we looked in the used market, by the way, I really like this Massey, but uh, horsepower-wise, it'd be a step down from the old Voltra. From the old Voltra. A grand. Should we pay for a chain? You know what? I think we probably should buy a chainsaw. <clears throat> I'm a fan of the still, the steel, the Husqvarna. I think either one of those two. I think that's, is that Jan's Red? Jan's, Jan's, I thought it was Jan's Rude. Maybe that's, but that, I don't think that's how you pronounce that. But I think that's a, a Y pronounced J. Jan's Red. I thought it was Jan's Rude. Anyways, McCulloch, eh. You know what, let's go with the, let's go with the Husqvarna. The Husqvarna. Yeah. Do I have, oh, I do going to say I wasn't sure if I had the lumberjack. Yeah, the missus is not going to be super thrilled with my uh with my uh cutting, but you know what? She's going to have to deal with it. This one, you know what? We're here. Let's get the chainsaw out. Um and let's say goodbye to this one as well. They're pest trees, right? They're not nice trees, they're pest trees. I should take this one down too. I mean, as long as we're doing it, we might as well do it. Come on, Brad. Get your chainsaw out, buddy. There we go. It'd be nice to get paid. You know, a little money for those. I know we could probably chip them and whatnot, but... Oh, yeah, that's much cleaner. That's much cleaner. She'll never know they're missing. All right, let's get around. Let's scooch around. Grab our next tool. I need to put these away. Find a place in the shed for them. We've got plenty of storage on this farm, so I should probably take the time to to put them away, but they are convenient right here, though. I was thinking about changing the bale wrap color, but that might cost money. I'm not sure I'm into that. Well, nice job lining that up. Speaking of funny Canadian things... I, uh, I watched this dude on YouTube who's um, Canadian. He does reviews, I think, on several things. I'm not sure if he does everything that he does reviews on, but he does reviews on some coffee stuff. I ran him across him a little while ago. I quite like him. I quite like him. He's quite Canadian. Canadians are just friendly. They're just friendly people. They're just good people. They're happy, good, fun-loving 
people. Now, it's been many, 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 many years since I lived in Canada. And I was very young. So, to me, it was, you know, just like going to grandma's house or something like that. There really wasn't a whole lot of... What does the adjust working speed mod do on this thing? Just lets us drive faster. Um... So not a big deal. I don't. I I remember it, but I don't remember a lot of specifics. I mean, there's there's funny things that you remember, right, when you're a kid, that are kind of just out there. I re, I specific. I specifically remember one. My next door neighbor in Canada, uh, he was an older kid, um, still a kid, but older than me. Loved Kiss. Loved the band Kiss. I mean, I remember his room had Kiss posters and. He was just a, a KISS fan. Odd things to remember. His name was Peter. And he loved KISS. Um, the other thing I remember is my mom. So weird, but I sp specifically remember my mom complaining about milk prices. <laughs> Maybe it was grocery prices in general. Um, but... I, but milk stands out to me. Milk prices stands out to me for some reason. Um, I remember getting in trouble early on in school uh, for not saying uh, pardon instead of what. And I specifically remember this hag of a teacher I had. <laughs> she was just, she's nasty, man. I had a really good teacher in Canada too, though. But we'll get back to that. Um, this lady, though, she was kind of a hag. And uh, I remember just saying, you know, I didn't hear her. And I said, what? And she goes, we don't say what. I think she might have even said, we don't say what in Canada. I think she might have been racist. I think she was an anti-American. I could be adding things to, to, the, to the story. I don't know. I'm probably embellishing. I really don't remember the specific words, but I do definitely remember her saying, we don't say what here. We say pardon. Well, excuse me, little Miss Fauntleroy. What is so, you know, what? I should have said, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Hey, it, 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 I remember it, so she I guess she did her job, right? You know? I think to this day, anytime I don't hear somebody, I don't say what anymore. I don't say pardon because I don't want to get punched. Because people, I think, you know, I think if you say pardon, pardon me. I think now I just say sorry, you know, sorry, or sorry, or... Something along those lines. I used to love ha having my Canadian friends. I'd say, what game do you want to play today? You know, you want to play Monopoly? No. I'd wait for them to, you know, wait for them to say it. I don't know, but we have Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll play Sorry. <laughs> Tin Man, I'm just, I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, man. I, I tell you, I respect Canadians. But you do talk a little funny sometimes. <laughs> uh, he's he's already on the keyboard keyboard warrior already going just lining me up but seriously though I do have a question for you all um, asking for a little help here I don't know if any of you have used the um, freeware called ShareX or not you can get it on Steam I'm assuming you can download it directly from their site as well. But it's called ShareX, S-H-A-R-E-X. And it is indeed a free, a free screen recording software or app. And I've been messing around with it a little bit. I think it's Wheelhouse is, um, I think it's Wheelhouse is more like snippet, like snapshots, more than it is video recording. But it is capable of doing video recording. Uh, I guess it uses FFmpeg. 
But I'm just curious if any of you have had any experience with ShareX. Um, any advice whilst using it? Thinking about trying it out just for funsies. Mixing it up a little bit. Those people never leave their house. There's always two cars in the driveway. And lights are never on, which is kind of weird. That house over there, I think, is empty. I don't think I've ever seen anybody there. But that house right there, always two cars in the driveway, and the lights are never on. Hmm. A little creepy. A little creepy. And let's see if we can catch a little... Oh, no, I was going too slow. All right, let's wing around. Let's get rid of this wrapper. Let's try to accomplish one more thing in this this here episode. That water canister is, well, actually, it's it's perfectly fine. Again, it goes back to the fact that I need to probably put put my toys away after I use them. We've got plenty of storage. So let's just, let's put our wrapper away since I'm thinking about it. Ooh, this thing turned sharp. She turns a little sharp on me. A little oversteer. We'll figure that out. You don't have to go all the way in there, buddy. You can just park right there is just fine. Thank you. Maybe we'll be able to use our silos finally for our sorghum over there. We don't have anything in those silos, do we, that I forgot about? No, okay. Didn't think so. Let's go grab our spreader. And before I forget... Let's um let's line up and get uh get our sorghum. Our new sorghum field fertilized. Ooh, I do I have we've got a little bit. We've got a little bit. I think we're gonna need to go buy some more though. Oopsie. Um uh, maybe, 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 maybe. It's not that big a field. Let's find out. Our little sorghum patch. Try to stay out of the ditch if you can, Brad. I bet we can almost do this. We should not have any... Oh, oh, is it killing? Oh, wait a minute. Look what it's doing. It's our stinking spreader wheels, aren't they? Yeah, our spreader's going to... Mm. I don't think we have many options when it comes to the spreader wheels. Let's take a quick peek ski. Oh, we're leasing it so we can't do anything anyways. But I'm curious. Here's our spreader. Yeah. Well, now the question has to be asked. Do we do tram lines? Basically, yes. You know what? I think it's going to pay. I think it's going to be worth it. I do. I think it's going to be worth it. Let's let's kill some sorghum. We won't kill a lot cuz this is a pretty decent spread width to it. Can I see Do I have my lines turned off again? I can't see my lines. My lines are on. Why can't I see them? Oh, there it is. And our blue line and our blue line. Yeah, okay. Let's um let's do this and we'll just 
we'll just uh, we'll just kill some sorghum. Well, I'll tell you what. That definitely kills some sorghum. It is what it is. But I think we are... It would be curious to find out how much we lose as opposed to how much we gain. I have to believe we're going to gain more than we're going to lose. Um, just because of just straight percentages. How much you know, is being benefited versus how much is being <laughs> trampled. It's been so long since I've done crop destruction that it just, it just feels weird to me. Ooh, that's a, that's a rumbling brook. But it definitely makes me uh, much more aware of not wanting to drive willy-nilly all over our field. Let's lock and load here. Yeah, we'll definitely have enough fertilizer. I don't think tram lines are a thing much in the Americas. Maybe they are, and I just don't notice or see them as much but I think they're much more popular in uh, in the European countries but with crop destruction turned on that does definitely add the uh, boy man thanks for thanks for giving us plenty of space over here huh it definitely um, adds a certain Je ne, je ne sais quoi? <laughs> no. Je ne sais pas? Je ne sais quoi? No, I don't know. It actually adds, uh, uh, you know, you have to kind of think about it, I guess, when you buy a spreader. And I usually just don't care about the wheels on the spreader. But I would definitely do that now. I would definitely make that a point or get one that's, you know, trailed like this. It's on your three point. Yeah. Alrighty then. Let's um let's throw one more little little bit on here since we're since we're doing it. I think I'm gonna call that good. I don't think we need to worry about getting every last ounce. Whoopsie. Let's go ahead and turn off our... Oh, come on, Brad. There you go, buddy. I guess I can drive across our neighbor's fields without any problems, but our fields? No. I mean, I honestly don't mind the look of tram lines and, and stuff like that. It's, um... But it's, it's going to be one of those things that, that is going to kind of bug me. Because I know that that was perfectly good crop that that I just destroyed. Alrighty. Well, that takes care of our fertilization that we needed for our field. That should give us two levels. Let's take a quick peek at our... PDA here. Yeah, I know. I know. But that's what we're going to do. Oh, hello, Brad. Gen X reminded me once to fertilize our grass. So let me just get this out of the way so he doesn't have to remind me again. A gain and a gain and a gain. Speaking of a gain. Oh, I like that. Man, I can't remember. Did we fertilize? We did fertilize last time, right? I think we did. 
pretty sure we did. Nice. So any big plans this weekend for you all? It's gotten a little chilly in my neck of the woods. Winter is not ready to uh, depart quite yet, I guess. <clears throat> my buddy in Minnesota is telling me that there might yet be another winter storm event in the Twin Cities area. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. But the way it usually works is what they get, we get about a day or two later. And it can be better or worse, uh, depending on how the lake, how Lake Michigan likes to deal with it. Somebody told me that they thought we would have another major snow event before spring arrives, but I guess I really haven't been paying attention much to what the weather, the weather people are saying. I think I can do a better job than they do just from looking out my window and, you know, taking a guess. It's weird now. We're a little late in the episode to get into this, but you ever watch those storm chasing videos? I love those things, right? I love watching these people chasing tornadoes and stuff. It fascinates me. It really does. Because um, when I was a kid, I was just absolutely terrified of tornadoes my dad didn't help at all either because every time there was like a wicked storm or something he'd be like "Ooh, tornado yeah thanks dad you know what i'm saying Ooh, tornado here's our goodies for next time by the way um and i'd be freaking out man i'd be he'd, he had me freaking out and he'd go you see this guy turn why do i have super strength is that because of the lumberjack can i how do i get rid of that how does the Lumberjack mod get rid of super strength? There's a key combination for that, isn't there? Not that you guys care. Let's see here. Create wood chips. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wood chips are created when cutting trees. Are... Really? So I could have turned that on and we could have got wood chips from those trees? Ha ha. Why have I never paid attention to that? I don't know what we would have done with... Well, I guess we could have picked them up and sold them. Cut anywhere. Chainsaw. Chainsaw. Super strength. <laughs> Super strength value. A hundred ton. Is, I don't, that's not how you spell ton. Who spells ton like that? Is that Canadian? <laughs> I think that's European, isn't it? T-O-N-N-E. -N -E, maybe British? Maybe Czechoslovakian? I, I don't know. I don't know. Infinite. Oh, I like that. Infinite with an exclamation point. Is it infinite? Can I pick this building up? Evidently not. So let's not call infinite infinite. Oh, but that's easy. Okay. All right. You guys don't want to see me just playing. One ton. Two ton. Oh, you can be really specific. Holy cow. I've never really paid a whole lot of attention to. I, I reckon I haven't paid a whole lot of attention to this. But I'm assuming, I don't think I turned it on this way. It's disabled. Maybe the chainsaw mod. That's weird. Anyways. Now I completely forgot what, oh, tornadoes. So I'm watching these storm chasers. My dad always was like, oh, yeah, you know, you got to look at the sky. If the sky turns green, you know, run to the basement. It's coming. And ever since then, I, I just, I see a green sky and I freak out. But I love storms. I love thunderstorms. Lightning, thunderstorms, love it. Favorite time of the year, spring, storm season. Absolutely fantastic. Don't know why I brought that up. I've completely lost my, my train of thought now. Um... So I guess we're just going <laughs> to probably remember later and then we'll figure it out. Oh, uh, I know I was talking about storm chasers and now I just, it's, it's gone. But anyways, this is what we're probably going to be hooking up next time. We'll get some more foraging done. Um, and I think we'll call it good. 
man my brain is is mush right now i think it's getting a little late into the evening that's always my excuse right it's getting late but you all have an amazing friday hopefully you have a good weekend uh, maybe i'll see you this weekend i'm gonna try and get on on get out onto the multiplayer server that reminds me gen x wanted me to open up the multiplayer server to anybody who wants to join it um so if you want to join the multiplayer server you're welcome to you do not have to be a member of the channel i don't know the best way to do this i guess maybe i'll just put it in the show notes um the 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 gaming server is rqs gaming i believe that's the actual name i don't think it's rqs gaming channel i think it's rqs gaming is the name of the server um and i'll put the uh, uh the password i guess down into the show notes and uh we'll see how that goes for uh for now i think there's a limited amount of slots so uh keep that in mind please join our discord server if you'd like to as well and as always please leave a like if you enjoy the video have pity on me as always you're welcome to uh to join or, or even become a member uh subscribe all that fun stuff love having you guys around it's awesome you guys make my day so many times but you all take care of yourselves take care of each other and um oh canada our home and native land and i'll see you guys soon bye for now